Good morning, my dear students. Welcome to our CS class. In this class, we are covering some revision topics from the chapter functions and Python revision tool two. Before that, we can explain what is a file. So, what is a file? In office or in schools, we are using file in paper format. What's the use of it? Your, yeah, it's a collection of related data stored in a particular area. Like that, our file also collection of data which is stored in the disk. In hard disk, we are saving in D drive, C drive, etc. So, this collection of related data is known as file. And what is a stream? Stream refers to sequence of bytes. That means you all know in computers processing is done in the form of binary digits that means zeros and ones eight bit digits eight bits joined and form a byte so the sequence of byte is known as stream so we can classify our data files into two types they are text files and binary files text files means it consists of a sequence of characters like we are using now a file like that a text file consists of sequence of characters and binary file as the name implies it is in binary format that means it will use zeros and ones so in text files we are usually using as key notations to store values as key characters which you have already studied as key means American standard code for information interchange by using ASCII notation we are saving data in our computer for each character there must be corresponding ASCII value for capital A there will be a value for capital B there will be a value for small letter A there will be a value so based on this value when we press a key in the keyboard this based on this ASCII value computer can identify what we have typed so text file stores information in ASCII for characters then each line of text is terminated with a special character known as end of line so in C and C++ we are using semicolon in Python we are not using any end of line notation then when we are giving this character what happens some internal translations takes place so some files are read only some files are read and write then it is lower than binary files so what is binary files binary file stores information in the same format that in the memory that means in memory we are using binary representations like zeros and one the same notation is used for binary files also that means in binary files also binary digits zeros and ones are used then no delimiter delimiter means line ending notation like in c or c plus plus we are using semicolon that like that we are using text file in text files we are using delimiters to denote end of file but in binary files no delimiters are used then no need of translation because binary files already in binary format which is which is used in memory also same type of format so no need of translation is needed binary files are faster because it can recognize the computer can recognize directly our binary files no need to convert so it is faster so this is about files now we can conduct revision class based on functions then some questions based on functions some objective questions function name must be followed by parenthesis that means here this add is a function name so after that there will be a parenthesis Dash keyword is used to define a function. Def, def keyword in every function we will use def keyword. When when uh, third question function will perform its action only when it is called or invoked. That means when we are calling the function, then only corresponding function definition will work. 
then if there is a function fourth question if there is a function add how can we add this function how can we call this function after calling only this function will work function call contains function name that means function name is add then bracket instead parameter here no parameters are used so simply this add is the syntax to call the function write statement to call the function add of x comma y that means inside this add function there are two parameters x and y so we can give any value for x and y add of 10 comma 20 then next question is in this case there are no return function is used return means we are returning a value to the function call in next question what happened the same question itself we are using a return set return set means a value is returned so we will use add x comma y to call the function before that we have an assignment operator is used that means if the result is returned from here it is acceptable by this c so c equal to add comma 10 comma 20 is the function call because we are using return statement here in this case no return statements are used so add of 10 comma 20 is needed then next is which line number code will never execute how can function executor execution starts first it will check this def check num then after that the python interpreter will identify this is a function so it will omit these statements then it will goes to c equal to check of 20 so c equal to check of 20 will work then here 20 will reach 20 percentage 2 equal to 0 is it true yes 20 percentage all even numbers produces reminder as 0 so 20 percentage 2 equal to 0 then print hello return true will execute but what happened to this print by after return statement again this function will not work so after return true what happened this true is returned to this c and print c will work but this print by will not work so line 5 will not work what will be the output of the following code here a function is called as cube of n n equal to n star n star n that means we are finding the cube if n equal to 10 what happened the output will be 10 into 10 into 10 which is equal to 1000 and here also print cube of n two print statements are used so 2000s are printed what are different types of actual arguments in functions give example of any one of them actual and formal arguments what is actual arguments the arguments used in function call is known as actual arguments formal arguments means the arguments used in function definition so positional keyword default variable length arguments so so these all are the actual arguments positional keyword default variable length in this we have to study default and positional arguments so these all are the actual arguments what will be the output of the following code so function execute from here 10 comma 20 comma 30 first the value of x becomes 10 y equal to 10 z equal to 20 so 10 plus 10 x plus y plus z will give what will be the value the value of x equal to 10 y equal to 20, z equal to 30, so 60 will be the answer. Then alter 20 comma 30, what happened? x becomes 20, y becomes 30, so 30 plus 20 equal to 50, then z equal to 20, the default value, so 70 will be the answer. Print sum. Ravi is a Python programmer, is working on a project for some requirement. He has to define a function with name calculate interest. He defined it as def calculate interest principle rate equal to 0 0.06 time hash code. But this code is not working. Can you help Ravi to identify the error in the above function and what is the solution? 
so the a rule is non default arguments is not allowed to follow a default argument so here a default argument a non default argument is followed by default arguments here default argument is rate equal to 0 0.06 after this this time the argument time came that means it is a non default arguments that means here no value is applied for time so after this rate equal to 0 0.06 no other variables are allowed default variables or only allowed so this because of that an error happened so if we give rate equal to 0 0.06 at the end the problem will be solved otherwise we can give time equal to a corresponding value there are two options that means non default arguments cannot follow a default argument default arguments mean, means we are supplying value directly in the function definition after that no non default arguments are not allowed then call the keyword function using keyword arguments with values equal to 100 and 200 swap equal to number num2 so keyword arguments means the arguments refers the, the arguments in the function definition so num1 we are giving 100 num2 we are giving 200 it will be simple which line number of codes will not work and why so in this also that keyword arguments rule is needed so you can check that then what is local variable and global variable the variable which is accessible in and there the program is known as global variable and the variable which is accessed only inside the function is known as local variable we can create a variable as global we can create a variable in, in inside a function global by using the global keyword in this function this count equal to one is global because it is defined above the function inside this result num1 num2 these all are local variables then what will be the output of the following code def check num equal to 50 print num num equal to 100 print num check so from here function starts so it's num equal to 100 print num what will be the output num equal to 100 first this 100 is printed then function check is called there the value of num becomes 50 so print num will print the 50 because inside the function a local variable num is there its value is 50 then it will return to check then again print num it will print 100 because this num equal to 100 is the global variable inside the this num has existence only inside the function so again 100 is printed the next is what will be the output of the following code here num equal to 100 print num so first 100 is printed then check check means the function it will reach to function global num num equal to 1000 the value of num becomes 1000 when we print num from here the value becomes 1000 then it will reach to function call again print num what happened again 1000 is printed because we created this local variable as global inside a function we can create a global variable by using global keyword so what happened in entire program the value becomes the global value first the value of num equal to from here execution start num equal to 100 print num it will print 100 because now the value is 100 only then when we reach the function what happened a global variable is created its value is 1000 so in next lines if we executing again then what happened after this check function the value of num becomes 1000 because we created this variable as global what will be the output of following code print welcome print i am underscore name underscore is double underscore so welcome i am that's this underscore is printed because this before name we are using underscore that underscore is printed you can refer this note again let's wind up the class for now let's continue in the next class thank you and have a nice day